is the modem current. If programming isn't your issue, the next thing we want to validate is whether your modem's good. This seems to be the number one scapegoat of all communication issues, but is in fact rarely the problem. As previously mentioned, on each WeatherTrack controller, you'll find the modem in the upper left-hand corner on the back side of the panel. This modem is modular, so it's easy to replace without replacing the whole controller or the whole panel. Throughout the years, WeatherTrack has had a number of different modems that we've used to communicate. Currently, we're using an LTE CAD-M modem, and the LTE stands for Long-Term Evolution. It's designed to be a communication solution that will span across the development of the 4G and 5G networks, and is capable of using either the 4G or 5G communication towers. With this LTE modem, we feel like we found a modem that will allow the WeatherTrack to continue to develop and stay current with its communication without needing replacement for the foreseeable future. It's also important to note that this type of modem delivers machine-to-machine -machine communication, so we're not using the same voice bandwidth as your cell phone uses. This type of machine-to-machine -machine contact has become the standard of many IoT or Internet of Things devices to stay connected to the cloud for all of their information exchanges. We've recently been proactively replacing 3G modems as 3G has met its spoken end of life and we're seeing the 3G network slowly become less and less dependable. When determining if your modem is good, the first step is determining whether that modem is current. Because the number one reason we need to replace modems is that the modem that your weather track has now is communicating on a dated or extinct communication bandwidth. So to answer the question, what modem does my weather track have now, the first and best place to look is weather track central, where in a number of locations you'll find the specific model, version, and modem of each controller that you manage. For example, here on the Smart Irrigation tab and the Controllers page, you see all of your controllers in one place and can simply see what type of modem your controller has. If your controller says LTE, then it's current and doesn't need to be replaced based on age. However, if your controller says 3G or even worse, 2G, these types of communication are dated and we would recommend upgrading to a current modem. Similarly, you can find that model, version number, and modem information on WeatherTrack Mobile. You do this by selecting the site and controller that you want to manage, and then go here to the Program tab. And at the top of the Program tab, you'll find the information you're looking for. Now, sometimes you'll be troubleshooting a controller that has a current modem. For this, you'll be working with customer service, but the information that they're looking for lives in the report known as the Controller Hardware Report. So you'd go to weathertrack.net, Go to the Reports page, select the Controller Hardware Report, find the controller that you're looking for, and pull up your Controller Hardware Report. In that report, you'll find all sorts of very detailed information about your controller and the type of hardware that we have out there. This information is customer-facing in this report, but is normally only used by customer service. Notice the third section is called Communication Board and has all of the information about the communication for this controller. If you're doing advanced modem troubleshooting with customer service, it's handy to know the controller version, the modem type, and the access type when you call customer service to determine whether there's a problem. Once you've been through the troubleshooting process with customer service, they may determine that you need to replace that modem. So if you are upgrading or replacing a modem, I would definitely recommend that you check out my YouTube video on how to install an LTE modem upgrade kit that walks you step-by-step through the process of taking out your old modem and putting in the new one.